G'day, g'day. How we going? I uh, just needed to make a quick video today. There's a couple of points I wanted to make. Sorry about the wind here. I'll just try and get in amongst these trees and hopefully it blocks it. Now, I've seen a lot of people uh, online. Like I said, I, I follow along a lot um, in the community, the lawn care community especially. Um, and what I've found is people aren't running their business as a business. And, and what I mean by that is they tend to befriend everyone. They, they try and become everyone's best friend, clients, employees. It doesn't seem to matter which one it is. They try and do right by everyone and end up chasing their tail. Uh, say yes to everything, become a yes man. And you just, you can't be that way in business. Um, it took a little while for me to learn that at the beginning. Not that long, luckily. Um, when I first started, and I was solo. But especially once I started to see that I needed to grow uh, the business with extra uh, employees and with extra clientele, of course. But I found by saying no to some people, it opened the door for a lot of the actual uh, beneficial clients, long-term clients, uh, regular, weekly, monthly, fortnightly, whatever it might be. I'm just going to throw this on because it's super bright. And um, yeah, I've just found that to be the case in a, in a lot of cases. People just don't seem to truly uh, be firm enough with with their stance on certain things. If they they know they they don't travel to a certain location but they still end up doing it and it takes them half an hour out of their way to get there and we've all been there we've all done it but if you truly want to be as uh, efficient productive and profitable as possible you need to start narrowing that focus and start taking that hard line approach from the get-go or as close enough to the get-go that you financially can do because obviously if you've got to take what you can get then fair enough you've got to work and take what you can get but if you're at a stage where you're comfortable Start learning that process to say no. I'm gonna get some footage of Max here in a second. He's doing a great job on the stander. And so with that rolling on, nice little segue. I'll just move my snipper for him, one second. As you can see here, very dry, waiting on some rain. Hopefully this afternoon we're gonna get a little bit more. Um, everywhere it's starting to look like this, but especially this being Cooch, it's the first to usually go uh, out of the Kai Q and Buffalo lawns that we have. But as soon as we get a bit of rainfall, this will green up nice again. But anyway, nice little segue into employees. Now, I pushed Max pretty hard when I had him over winter there got him ready to go um, and he learnt really quickly just uh, it's that work ethic and whether you've worked before or not you either got it or you don't um, I've spoken to Jaden about sort of stepping it up each and every day each and every week getting uh, quicker getting faster right in amongst the trees now uh, and learning the process um, is the biggest thing it's the way I do it the best way not all the time but it's the most efficient way that I've found and it's also the most profitable way that I've found and I've really pushed the letter with that I've really tried hard to find our most profitable uh, ways of doing things and that's the biggest thing um, he's got to learn but otherwise that's what you got to factor in as far as cost factor um, it'll be as a traineeship if we decide to go forward because we need to really make sure everyone's on the same page um, I just can't that's a nice job I can't afford uh, to lose clientele because they're just they're obviously used to the way I do things they're, they're used to my quality my speed of work and everything else that rolls along with that and I've got to sneeze oh all right, so yeah, with that, it's, that's the biggest thing I've found. Um, and same deal, taking a hard line approach with your employees. You've got to do it. You've got to nip it in the butt early on and say this is how, uh, what we expect, how we do things. I'm trying to learn different things with him. I'm writing a list now of what I expect at each job. 
rather than just telling him in case something gets missed or something gets forgotten or not heard quite right. Just so there's no confusion, we tick it off the list and that way I can, I can clearly show him, all right, this is my list and have you done it? And he can honestly answer that yes or no and to the standard that we require because whether or not you do it, it's, it's got to be done to the quality. So I've ummed and hard about making videos. Obviously, I've spoken to Jaden. And again, Jaden, I know you'll be watching this, so it's not an attack at all, like I said to him in, um, in person and everything else. And yeah, he's uh, doing all the right things, but in this business and what we're doing, we need speed, we need quality um, from the get-go. So he's learning it, doing the best we can. And if it's the right fit, then we go forward. Um, and that's all we can do, and that's all you guys can do in your business. Roll with what you can. As quick as you can get it done, because we've all got to grow uh, these businesses up to get them somewhat profitable. You, you can push it, but you don't want to be going home and stressing out about potentially losing clients because the quality of work isn't the same as it once has been, because you haven't been there. Or you can't check everything every single time, and and that gets frustrating. So there's a lot of factors and reasons as to why you end up uh, saying yay or nay to somebody. And then being a great person and a really nice kid, that's what I go for first, obviously. But everything else needs to fall into place as well because you can't just be a nice fella and, and not be putting out the, the volume of work. With all that said, there will be another uh, worker coming on board very shortly. So stay tuned for that. And that's what I said to Jaden, I sort of need to know so I can bite the bullet, get this second crew happening. Because this other fella will be with Max full time. And consistently they'll just run the show. Mainly residential lawns to begin with. I think I'm gonna have to just go to a lot of the, resi uh, the acreages, sorry, with them uh, or separately, whatever we have to decide to do. I just feel like I need to be there for a lot of the high-end clients still just to give that final polish uh, until everyone's 100% up to speed where I can be confident in every everyone's ability to just do it when I'm not there. Uh, until that happens, I can't fully step out of the business at all. And I don't think I ever will. I enjoy mowing lawns too much. So it's more setting it up for everyone to increase their wage because they'll be taking on more responsibility, but also setting it up that I'm not having to work as hard or stressing out each and every day. Is it done right? Is it is it done to my standard? And would I be happy with that? Not only would I be, but am I, are my clients happy with that? So a lot of things, that's, over Christmas I was obviously going through a lot and it's another big step that we're gonna take. Then I want as many people to come along for the ride as possible. Um, so we'll wait and see what happens and go from there. Because uh, like I said, I'm happy to have as many as we can, but everyone needs to be working too, so we'll go with that. I think that's all I need to talk about, and uh, the boys are just packing up now, doing a nice job. I'll get this snipper and done quickly. It's just along this edge. Last time we come here, uh, it's at a cafe here and there was people, and so this area, there was people sitting out here, and I just said to the guys, oh, we'll leave this little area, I'll tidy it up next time, so you can see it's just here, around this front edge, uh, where everyone was sitting, so we'll leave it there, guys, and thanks again for watching. Like and subscribe and talk to you later on. Thanks again. Bye-bye. Okie dokie. There's always something extra. I just uh, wipe this lens quickly. Sorry. Beautiful. Just spoke to Jaden a little bit further. Um, got home a bit early. Finished uh, replenishing some fluids of uh, glyphosate and slasher and anything else that we needed to top up in the uh, chemical department going through just uh, obviously this is going live and explaining that I did mention uh, about what we've been discussing and and he's happy for everything to be included type thing in the video um, going forward it's a big thing uh, I've created this channel for a lot of reasons and it's to help another business so these are the things you're going to come across it's, at the end of the day I need to talk about it, um, not only to get off my chest, but to actually reiterate to everyone that it is hard when you're taking these next steps and these next stages. Um, they say more money, more problems, and 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 that's what en ends up happening a lot of the time. Um, it's it's your mindset and how you choose to view it. You can see it as a challenge that you're going to rise above and you're going to help uh, someone else. And at the end of the day, it is going to be worth it. But at the same time, like I explained to Jaden. 
there becomes a point in time where it starts eating into the profit margin of the business too much that it then affects everyone else going forward. It limits other workers being able to get a better wage because you simply can't afford it in the budget. So when you want to create a good culture, a good rapport, a good good way to, to live, really, uh, you just want to go to work. It's a, it's a good place to be. Uh, the work, as long as you enjoy this type of work, it is really very enjoyable work. Hard yakka. I'm sweating up a storm in this car right now trying to record this, but it's... Um, I, d I couldn't uh, imagine doing anything else now. Um, I love organising things, so going forward, that'll be a lot of the business side of it will be done uh, by me as far as this team's here, this team's there, we've got this today, or if it gets rained off, these are our backup plans, whatever it might be. That That's all to come uh, at a grander scale because ideally, like I've said, up to about six workers is what we're aiming for. Um, but again, it's just going to have to be the right fit for our business. Uh, and like I said to Jaden, maybe for a bigger company down the track, if it doesn't work out with us, that's something he could look at because then they would have the funds there to be able to do a proper apprenticeship and be able to go through the processes of all that. I really do believe he, like he's an awesome kid, an awesome um, young, young fella, and he's got a long future and a good future in whatever he decides to do. But just for me, like I said, I just don't have unlimited funds to uh, continue to do this for any longer than a few months. Because at the end of the day, with this other worker coming back on board, we're going to be firing with three anyway. Um, and we need another worker uh, if I'm going to bite the bullet and get another um, truck or ute and trailer option, depending on what I decide to do there. So with that, that's my next predicament. I'm not going to sort of invest another 100, 100K into the business if I don't have a worker that's going to be able to push the profit margins high enough to justify that. Um, when I could do enough on my own with another vehicle, um, do sort of 8 to 10 lawns a day comfortably just by using the back of the ute and a push mower, big 30-inch one, um, and earn your extra profit there. So they're all things I've got to weigh up, and that, that's up to me to decide and do. I'll... Again, it's just documenting real time what's happening in our business. And again, each to their own. Um, you've got to decide. It's, it's, it's honestly a prick of a feeling. Excuse the language, but it is. It, it, it's a hard spot to be in because you know the funds eventually will run out. Um, as far as what the business goes, business is fine, but it's separate funds that I allocate for rainy days, for whatever, and if it's eating into that too much or if I'm getting callbacks or clients potentially cancelling or wanting to have us go back or do something a bit better than it was done, that's when it really becomes an issue. And at the end of the day, that's I don't want to go home uh, with the shit, getting upset, getting angry, getting impatient with my own kids, my own wife, or whatever it might be, because I've had a, a crap day at work when I don't typically have crap days at work because it usually is pretty, it's like clockwork. Uh, and that's the beauty of it. That's why I love it so much. I can look at my day and go, yep, each lawn, let's say 15 to 20 minutes. Bang, 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 bang. It's all done. And when there's little things that are coming on, sort of altering that that process, that's what I explained to Jaden. That's what he's understanding. So going forward, I think that we're all going to be um, in agreement and that's what I mean. It's about knowing. There's no point getting to that stage and in a month's time just cracking it and going, no, that's enough. I've had enough. Sort of see you later. It doesn't work like that. I'm giving him as many chances as possible. I'm going to be writing lists. This is what I expect each and every day. Tick this list off. Bang, bang, bang. Have you completed it and have you done it to our standard? Yes or no? Um, and he'll be able to answer honestly because he, he can look at it and he knows Certain ones is, no, that isn't good enough. Or yes, that, and then credit where credit's due. I always give credit where it's due. Um, I hope, um, yeah, everyone can think what they like of me, but at the end of the day, um, I've got to run a business to the standard that I know is um, more than achievable. And what my clients expect is achievable each and every week we're there, fortnight we're there, whatever it might be. So it is extremely hot in here now. I'm sweating up definitely <laughs> more than I have all day. Uh, I want to leave it there. Thank you very much again for watching. And yeah, Jaden, if you're watching, mate, just keep doing what you're doing. 
I'll speak to you tomorrow. Well, another day. Every day's a new day. We just start fresh and we just keep going and we want to tick these goals off. And um, like I said to him, I want him to come uh, along board. I want him to be the one that is with me going forward um, because it'll be perfect as far as the business model will go. That'll be ideally what we want. Um, it takes a little bit of pressure physically off me at the end of the day, but it still needs to have that quality there. So we'll roll with that and everyone can just follow along and we'll go from there. So thank you very much for watching and just yeah stay firm in your business stay true to your beliefs and what you know is possible uh for your overheads for your lifestyle for whatever you want to lead and we'll go from there guys so thanks for watching leave it there keep talking 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 <laughs> cheers bye bye great song that one too give that a search up <laughs> bye